Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our first look, well, my first look at a full case break of 2017 Topps Gold Label Baseball. 16 box pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. I know 10 buck breaks, our, our 10 buck break channel has been doing some of that, but I have personally not seen any as of yet. So there you go. So on the 20th, thank you very much for getting in on a new release night. King D with that last spot mojo, Tigers. There's everyone else. Appreciate everyone getting in. Each box has a framed autograph. So we're looking for 16 framed autos. All, obviously different parallels and whatnot. There are base cards in here. Everything ships too. There are base cards in here. And each base card is uh, divided by class one, two, and three. Three different classes. Three being the most shorter printed one. And within each of those three classes, you will also have, um, within each of those three classes, you'll also have different parallels as well. So black, blue, red, and gold, one of ones, I think. All right, so there are all the box right there. So stacks of four. Here's what it looks like. Nice. Yep, one frame auto per box. 33 cards per box too. Um, Legends, one per case on the Legends Relics. The cool thing about this set is that it's a nice balance between like, hey, people who want nice like high-end framed auto looking stuff, you can get that. Or you can also buy into this just to build, just to build sets as well. You can build sets on that. All right, uh, the frame is right here. I'll do that last. Um, oh, actually, we'll go a little bit slower on the first one. So there's Evan Longoria. There's Albert Pujols. Ryan Braun. Adam Jones. And Matt Kemp. It's, it's kind of hard to tell where the class numbers are. Does it say? Class ones are numbered. Class ones are always numbered? Well, because there's, there's the black parallels as well. How do I know what class this is? Is Everything not numbered is class one, I think. And then class but the two black parallels, is this a class one, one out of two packs black parallel? Class two, one out of six? No. Class three, one out of 20? How are we supposed to know? No one knows. Oh, because it says on the, huh? it says right here, that's class one. I can't read that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be difficult. You just break. Oh, that, yeah. I mean, everything ships, so you guys are going to get everything. And the, the important card's going to be numbered, but... Just for fun, for us, I want to know where they are. <laughs> All right, so that's where the class numbers are. Diamondbacks game? Never seen the Diamondbacks? Hmm? What? No. Never seen the Diamondbacks? Watching the game? I'm not watching the game. The magic numbers, too. The Padres need a win. Yeah, they're playing the Padres. Carlos Correa, 9 out of 75. So this is a class 1 red. See, that makes sense, right? Class one red. See, in the, in the first box, I like to go a little on the slower side just so everyone can kind of get a nice look at the card, the quality of the card, where you find random stuff like where the class number is. For the future box, I'll be stacking all the packs and everything. Now, like I said, everything ships, so if I happen to miss something, don't worry, everything will be shipping out. Most of these are going to be class one, I think. That's the most common. Yeah, they kind of made it hard to read this year. That's a class three Jarrell Cotton, right? So that's just a regular one. Regular refractor. It's so like this black parallel, which cardboard connection TJ is saying about three black parallels per box. So this is a class one, another class one black parallel, which is one out of every two packs. All that will ship. And there's Kenta Maeda, and nice. There is a blue, 37 out of 99. With the blue parallels, you can always tell what class they are because the class ones are out of 150 and the class two are out of 99. I don't think they numbered the, I don't think they numbered the ones last year. So there you go. Class two, kind of in the background. Class two blue. Makes sense, right? 
I think we'll get used to it as we go along. All right, we've got a couple cards right here. We've got Hank Aaron, nice. And there's Alex Reyes right here. And our first framed autograph is a brave Sean Newcomb. 144 out of 400. Nice Sean Newcomb for the Braves. And that will go to David Marin. David Marin with the Bravos. Nice. All right, so that's our first box right there. So now we can just kind of, now that you got a good look on it, box one, we can breeze through these a little bit. Frame is right there. So I'll stack up all these cards just in the interest of time. We can move a little bit more quickly. So great frames, great sets to build, and um, a fun product to do, I'd say. Fun product to do. Move this keyboard out of my way. All right, here we go. Kind of breeze through these. These are black parallels. These, all of those will ship. Nice Ichiro. So the black parallels are not numbered. And we don't see, oh, there's our first numbered card out of this box. And a lot of times you're not gonna see a lot of numbered cards. They're also few and far between. Um, 133 out of one, 132 out of 150 cargo Carlos Gonzalez for the Rockies that's for Ziggy so that's out of 150 that's a class one blue parallel all right and the frame Cal Ripken jr. We've got Clayton Kershaw and Carson Fulmer. Nice one for the White Sox. Ed Aarons pulled the trigger on the White Sox. Nice. Not numbered, but nice framed auto. That is strong. I like that. Nice. All right, next box. And coming up after this will be Topps Triple Threads Baseball. Pick your team two. That filled up already. And we'll be breaking that after this. And then after that, after Triple Threads, we will have, we should just have, um, should just have one, uh, one hour left, I think. One hour left, and so we should be able to do at least another break or two. All right, here we go. We got Alex Bregman, four out of 99 for the Astros. That'll go to Joe Kroll. Remember, all cards ship. Nice, 60 out of 75, red Jose Bautista. That's a class one red. And that'll go to the Blue Jays. That'll be for Elvis Ekman. I wanna try to take a closer look at some of the, man, they're almost impossible to see. Because the black parallels, I think that's just class one. The black parallels class three or one out of every 20 packs. All right, so nice one for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Elvis. Oh, was, did I miss a Bellinger? That's probably worth pulling, pulling, out of, pulling aside. Aaron Judges and Bellingers, basically. All right, there's the Astros. Let me look for that belly. There we go. So that Bellinger, 
is just a class one Bellinger, so that's one out of every two packs. A little more common, but. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right. What up, Jaspie's Hockey Land? Oh, they got, a, they got a mixer that's close. Look at that, single digits. Yeah, folks, we're backed up with baseball breaks, so if you want to support Jaspie's Hobby Land, you can get to the Hockey Land channel, help out with that mixer. Next frame auto is Dan Vogelbach. Nice. Nice one for the Mariners. That'll go to Joe Kroll. Love these framed autos. There's one in every box. Love it. It looks like there's like an extra, I don't know. I like the design this year. I like the extra sheen that they have on the, on the frames. Next box. Nice Anthony Rizzo. 41 out of 50 going to the Cubs. Michael G. There's Yaz. That's a class class one Yaz. Those are pretty common. Don Mattingling. Class one. Kenta Maeda. It's a class two. That's one out of every six packs. You know who's at number one right now? Brady. And class one, Hunter Pence. Sorry. Like, I just want to find a class three. Um, Aledmi's Diaz, 73 out of 99 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Nick I. And Big Boppy, David Ortiz, Ethan with the Red Sox, 113 out of 150. Cardboard. All right. Nice. Yeah, even uh, even they're like. And the frame auto coming up. Not all of them though, right? No, I think there's black par the black parallels have class one, two, and three. At least that's what it says on our website. I think we got that information from Cardboard Connection. And so class one, yeah, it's class one black parallels are one out of every two packs. Class two black parallels are one out of every six. And class three black parallels are one out of every 20 packs. I'm pretty, I think I'm reading that right. All right, and the frame, good luck. Reggie Jackson and Andrew McCutcheon and ooh parallel autograph nice 24 out of 25 Gavin Ciccini nice on card auto for the Metropolitans Bruce with the Mets nice all right Quarter of the break done. Next one. And there's a there's a case hit too. I think it's the when we see a relic, that'll be a case hit. Yeah, this is a nice hit. Parallels especially. These cards look great, especially in that frame. There's Red Ryan Braun. That's out of 25, so that would be a Class 3 Red Parallel. That says Class 3 right there, so that's even shorter printed. Uh, Chris W. with the Brew Crew. That's Class 1. 19 out of 50, Class 2 Greg Maddox for the Cubs. That'll be for Michael G. 
And this is a class two, Felix Hernandez, and a class one, Corey Seeger. Those are relatively common. And out of 150, Anthony Rizzo, nice. That's a class one blue. And a Will Myers, class one black parallel. Those are about one out of every two packs. All right, and the frame auto coming up. Framed auto, good luck, boys and girls. We got Cody Bellinger, nice. We'll save that and sleeve that. We've got Christian Arroyo. And the autograph is Cody Bellinger, 78 out of 100. Gold frame autograph, Cody Bellinger. For my Dodgers goes to JT, Jeremy Tillman. Nice. Jeremy Tillman, 78 out of 100. Cody Bellinger coming your way. And this guy too. Nice. Nice Cody Bellinger. Next box. Yeah, that is a good looking one. All right. Let's move a little bit more quickly through this break. I'll uh, I'll sleeve or I'll top load um, and sleeve those uh, parallels after the break. I think that'll just keep this video moving along a little bit more efficiently. All right, good luck everyone. Got Bryce Harper, class one. We've got Nolan Ryan, class two, one out of every six packs. And nice Hank Aaron. Out of 99, class two blue parallel. Anthony Rizzo, class one, one out of every two packs. A nice Giancarlo Stan out of 150, another class one blue parallel. And Votto Matic, class one. Someone was asking about MVPs earlier. I feel like, uh, like Joey Votto could be in the conversation for NL MVP, right? That's what I think. All right. We've got Fautomatic. We've got Kenta Maeda. And bam, Ryan Healy. Nice rookie. Gold frame autograph. Oakland A's, Jay Kreider with the A's. There you go, Jay. Love these framed autograph hits. Next one. Good luck, boys and girls. Next up, we've got Red Roger Clemens. 14 out of 25. Out of 25 are class 3 red parallels. Nice. There's Masahiro Tanaka, class 1, black parallel. Chris Sale, class 2. And 35 out of 50, Jacob deGrom. That is a class 2 red parallel. Class 1, Kyle Schorber. Yaz to 150, Class 1. And nice, Mike Trout. Class 1 on that one. Nice. And the frame. It's been great, Brian. I'm going through a lot of new releases today. Pretty happy about that. Strasburg. Aegon. And the frame auto is another Oakland A, 88 out of 50. Another rookie, Franklin Barreto, blue parallel. Yeah, it'd be nice to see uh, the Yankees. All right, X-Line, 
Josh has the Yankees in this one. Still plenty to go. That's uh, eight, nine. Nine autographs to go. Nine frames to go. Have not seen any, uh, well, I've not seen any Blue Jay autographs. We've seen some parallels here and there, but no autos as of yet. But we have nine more to go. One frame auto per box. So let's see what we got. Good luck, everyone. Next one. We got Cespedes. Can't read the class number there. I don't know. Now I kind of want to know. It's two. Because the class three, like this one. Yeah, there you go. Class three. You can see right there next to his knee. Class three. These are one out of every 20 packs. That's relatively rare. It's class one. A lot of black parallels in this one. This is two. Just one, I think. Yeah, class one. A little faded on the on the left side. It's kind of hard to see. We've got out of 150 right here. Nice Jose Abreu blue parallel going to the White Sox for Ed. Nice. Set that right here. Yeah, they sure are, Brian. I'm very excited about that. All right, next one, Ichiro and Frank Thomas and Jorge Alfaro. Nice, 76 out of 486. Nice one for Chris Huey and the Phillies. All right, we've got eight boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. Uh, yeah, the frames are are heavy. Vakshana, you can definitely hear, or you can definitely feel the uh, the weight of the frames. Like this one, there's no frame. So there must be a redemption in there. There better be. But yeah, there's there is definitely a weight to the frame, Vakshana. There is definitely some weight to the frame. Redemption? It's got to be in there somewhere. There it is. There, that's the redemption. Okay, here we go. Black parallel. I should just set these aside and just look, look at those later. <laughs> just kind of got started being obsessed about that and now. Can't stop. All right. Behind Calvin Jr. is Tyler Glass now. And the redemption. Framed autograph card gold. Framed blue parallel. Julio Urias. Very nice. For Jeremy Tillman and the Dodgers. Nice. Congrats indeed. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. All right, next one. Julio Rudius. Was on track to be part of that Dodgers rotation, but kind of a weird shoulder injury for him. 
which I remember at the time they were saying it was an acute soldier, shoulder injury, which means, uh, which medically I think it meant that it just kind of happened with like one pitch. Like it wasn't like a, like a degenerative sort of like long-term sort of thing that happened from overuse or anything. At least that's what they're saying. <laughs> At least that's what they're saying. But I mean, he's a young kid. Should be fine. Should bounce back. Setting the black parallels aside, I'm gonna, we'll go through those after the break and off air, off the recording. If I find any level threes, which are one out of every 20 pack, we'll, set, we'll kind of set those aside. All right, the frame, good luck. This one definitely, feel you can feel the frame. There's Jose Abreu. Back here is Robinson Cano. And the frame is... Yoan Mankata, 5 out of 15. Wow. 5 out of 15. No, Urias is not blind in one eye at all. Apparently he can see just fine. I think it's just a, that one eye. It was, a, I think, just some sort of skin, extra skin that kind of grew there. Like benign tumor kind of thing. But he did have cosmetic surgery on it like a year or two ago. Just kind of cleaned that area up. No, but can see just fine. With the way he pitches, yeah, he sees just fine. He sees just fine. I'm trying to look at the blue parallel for the framed autos. That blue parallel is out of 50 or less, according to um, CardboardConnection.com for that Julio Urias, Jeremy. And that oh, caught out of 15. That is pretty strong. Frame. Wait, is he legally blind in that eye? I thought the story was that he wasn't, that he could see fine out of it. That was my understanding. Nice, Addison Russell, 49 out of 50. Those red parallels are, I had that list up here, the red parallels are out of 50, class two. I don't think we've even seen Aaron Judge base cards either, Luke Weaver. Oh, there, Aaron Judge, right there. Kind of hard to see what the class is right there. I think it's just class one, but I am almost certain that these, just like the Bellingers, Josh X line, will have value as well. So we'll sleeve that up. I had no idea. I thought I did. I thought that he, I thought that was just a cosmetic thing. Well, I'm wrong, Vakshana. Twenty out of seventy-five, Felix Hernandez. And there's Randy Johnson. Well, I'm wrong. Wait, now Hauser's saying he looked it up and he can see? I don't know what's going on anymore. I know he can definitely see out of his regular eye. I can 100% say and he can. I mean, I guess legally means you can kind of see, but you maybe just can't drive around with that eye. I have no idea. All right, uh, Glowbug, I do remember Raul Mondesi, yes. He has a kid who's gonna be playing ba Why is he going to jail? Well, his son's in the, Raul Mondesi Jr. is about to come up. And we've got Robert Kesselman. Nice one for the Metropolitans. Robert Gesellman, Metropolitans. And that'll go to Bruce. So apparently jail time in the Dominican Republic, huh? Well, that's no good. 
Yeah, he's not gonna see his son play. Corruption, apparently. What was, who was he corrupting? Within the government? What, I must, he must have been taking money. That's basically what it was. He was just on the take. That's what corruption means. If you're a ball player and you're in a government scandal, and unless he's like running guns, which he probably wasn't, I'm sure he was just like bribing officials or bribed by officials. One or the other. There's McGuire, Cal Ripken Jr., Noah Syndergaard, Ken Griffey Jr., Troy Tulowitzki, Black Parallel, and a blue parallel. There we go. Justin Verlander, 82 out of 99 for the Tigers and Tyler Glass now. Tigers are King D. Tyler Glass now. For the Pirates, that is Dave Marin, 27 out of 150 on that one, Dave. And the frame. Let's see what we got here. And Hunter Dozier. 523 out of 501. Didn't Hunter Dozier hit the home run that was the most home runs in baseball or something like that? No, I'm thinking of some other Royal. Some other light hitting Royal who hit the home run that set the record for the most home runs in baseball in a single season. 5,000 some odd some home runs. I think we're getting, I think we'll probably hit 6,000 home runs by the end of the season, to be honest with you. I don't think there's a frame in this. Maybe another redemption. Well, Hauser, you know what? Oh, here it is. It's the frame. Well, you know what I'm going to say. Memorabilia Vault is going to be awesome. And you're going to get yourself, I think it's a guaranteed hit. Get a lot of hits in there. I would do it. Speaking of hits, that's the case hit right there. The relic is the case hit. So let's set the relic over here. Benintendi Black Parallel and out of 150. Let's play two. Jarrell Cotton and Frank Thomas. Oh, was it? It was Alex Gordon, right? Yeah, it's someone. A lot of home runs, though, being hit in baseball. All right. The frame, Joey Votto. We got Ernie Banks. And the hit is Steven Matz for the Mets. 27 out of 50. Another Metropolitan for Bruce. Nice. And the case hit. It's Gary Sanchez right there. The case hit is Nolan Ryan. Nice. Game used memorabilia. Legends relic. One per case. Nolan Ryan. 75 out of 75. Nice one for the Astros. That'll be for Joe Kroll with the case hit. There you go. Nice Nolan Ryan case hit. Three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. And then coming up right after this, or after I put away all the all the stuff, will be um, will be uh, pick your team two for triple threads baseball.
That's the frame. There you go. There's Goldie, Paul Goldschmidt, 80 out of 99. Uh, that goes to, that's a class two blue parallel going to Brandon Parrott and the Diamondbacks. There's Hugh Darvish, Rangers edition. There's Steven Strasburg for the Nationals. Big Poppy, Big Poppy. Trevor Story for the Rockies. And out of 75, red parallel, Josh Bell for the Pirates. That'll be for Dave Marin. That is a class one red parallel. Nice Josh Bell. Nice Goldschmidt. He's got an outside chance of the NL MVP. And let's see what we got. We got Bo Jackson. We've got Mark McGuire on the back. And the frame auto is Lewis Brinson. 144 out of 400 for the Brew Crew. Who's got the Brewers in this one? That'll be Chris W. with the Brew Crew. Nice, Chris. Nice. Two boxes to go. Last two boxes. We made it. Coming up after this will be Triple Threads Baseball. And then after that, we should about we should have about an hour left in the broadcast. Um, and we can extend that a little more if we're filling up breaks. Just FYI. So last two boxes. Looks like Jason filled that hockey mixer, so he's going to be doing that. Nick Jaspi still around for 10 buck breaks. Oh, this is the frame. All right, good luck. Will Myers leading things off. That right there, there you go. Andrew McCutcheon, 97 out of 99. Class two blue parallel for the Pirates. That'll be for Dave Marin. Julio Urias. Roger Clemens. Josh Donaldson, Reggie Jackson, Black Parallels. We'll look at those later, see if any of them are Class 3 Parallels. 23 out of 75, Johnny Bench, Alex Reyes. And the frame, second to last frame. Good luck, everyone. There's Corey Seager. And there's Addison Russell base cards. Your frame is, bam, another Gavin Ciccini for Bruce and the New York Metropolitans. Nice. And the last one coming up. Solid break so far. Would love to do more of these. Jaspieshobbyland.com. We have another pick your team on the website. Uh, that's about halfway there, I think. XR Football also halfway there. Both of those breaks, uh, we've already done one of. We can run it back tonight, do another one. We also have uh, one box breaks of Impeccable Basketball. We're doing them by number blocks. So if you want to go for that, that's also available as well. Nice, Hunter Pence will lead us off. Trevor Story, Giancarlo Stanton. Paul Goldschmidt, these are all the black parallels. Mitch Hanniger. And Donnie Baseball, one, two, three out of 150 for the Yankees, the X line. And Trey Mancini, all right. Last one, good luck everybody. Thank you very much for getting into this break. Appreciate it. As you know, scared money don't make money. Hopefully we can make people some money here. Don Mangling. Got Greg Maddox, and the last hit here is is a Cub. It's Addison Russell, black, 25 out of 25. Nice parallel for the Chicago Cubbies. Michael G with the Cubs. Nice, and I don't have any randomizers or anything to do, and there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was gold, a full case of gold label. Pick your team number one. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.